In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Mr. Savage. Mr. Savage is a 14 year old Norwegian player and is considered one of the best Fortnite players in the world. He placed top 25 in the Fortnite World Cup, both in the solos and duos, and we're going to be analyzing his keybinds, his settings, his sensitivity, and his setup to try and figure out what makes him so great. Let's get started. The first thing I want to look at is Mr. Savage's keybinds for building. He has his wall on F his floor on G, his stairs on T, and his pyramid on F4. Now, these are very unusual keybinds, and let me explain why. Listen, my best practice for Fortnite keybinds is to have every building piece on a separate finger, but Mr. Savage does something completely different, because he has his building pieces on keys that he has to press with just his index finger. As you know, Mr. Savage is one of the best and fastest builders in the world, and he does it using keybinds that I would consider suboptimal. So what does that mean? Well, maybe I don't know anything about keybinds, or maybe Mr. Savage is just so talented and he has practiced so much in creative mode that he's managed to master building with keybinds that really aren't very good. Of course, if you were to use these keybinds, I guarantee that they wouldn't work out very well for you. However, Mr. Savage is a prime example of what hard work and practice can accomplish. And it isn't what the keybinds that make a player, it's you that make a great builder. Now let's take a look at some of his other keybinds, namely his edit, his trap, and his use key. His edit is Y, his trap is F5, and his use key is E. Now these are also keys that he has to press with his index finger, so now we have seven actions on one finger. That's a crazy amount. And the weirdest thing is some of these keys are really hard to press because they're so far away from the WASD movement keys. For example, Y, F5, and F4 are keys that most people will find difficult to press. But Mr. Savage is able to press them with ease and with lightning speed. Can you imagine building and editing with just one finger? Mr. Savage's weapon keybinds look pretty normal. He's got his harvesting tool on one and then slots one through to five on keys two to six. Yes, this is pretty normal, but when you consider he's already got a bunch of keys on his index finger and now he's swapping some of his weapons using his index finger as well, it really amazes me that Mr. Savage is able to perform so many things as well as he is. Maybe I need to rethink my keybind philosophy, or perhaps Mr. Savage is really that good. Now, let's move on to Mr. Savage's sensitivity. On the surface, by looking at just the Fortnite settings, Mr. Savage's sensitivity looks fairly normal. But, we have to take in his mouse DPI. His mouse DPI is 1450, which is very high, actually, because most Fortnite Pro players play on either 400 or 800 DPI. Now that we know his DPI and his X and Y sensitivity, we can calculate his E DPI, or his effective DPI, by multiplying his mouse DPI by his Fortnite sensitivity. So, Mr. Savage has an E DPI of 117.45. This is a high sensitivity, particularly for a pro player in a shooter game. In general, pro players in shooter games use a low sensitivity, because when you use a low sensitivity, you can be more precise with your mouse movements and hit more of your shots. But, you can use a higher sensitivity than normal in Fortnite, because it's not your typical shooter. There's a lot of building involved, so it's useful to be able to whip your screen around fast so you can crank out 90s and so on. Also, a higher sensitivity can help your reactivity, which is also very important for Fortnite. Another thing I want to pay attention to is Mr. Savage's targeting sensitivity and scope sensitivity. These are multipliers, and when you have your targeting sensitivity as 1, that means it is the same as your normal sensitivity. Mr. Savage has both of these set at 0.950, which is pretty close to 1, so his sensitivity is going to be very fast when he's targeting and when he's scoped down using a sniper rifle. Most players will find it very difficult to be accurate with sensitivity so high, but Mr. Savage has excellent aim, and that's because he's played a lot of Kovacs FPS aim trainer. You see, you can become great with any sensitivity as long as you put in the hours to practice using that particular sensitivity. Before we take a look at Mr. Savage's settings, let's take a look at his gaming PC. As you know, Mr. Savage is a Fortnite pro player and a streamer, so it makes sense for him to have a very good PC build, and that's exactly what he has. 
His CPU is the Intel Core i9-9900K, one of the fastest gaming CPUs on the market right now, and his GPU is the Asus GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, which is the best GPU on the market right now. For his motherboard is the Asus ROG Strix Z390E, with G-Skill Trident's RGB series 32GB RAM, and a Samsung 970 Evo 1TB SSD, so Fortnite and his other applications will load lightning fast. Yes, this is an amazing PC, but it's very, very expensive. And I will have the links to Amazon for all of these parts so you can check the latest price. Also, Mr. Savage has a separate stream PC, and his stream PC is also super decked out because it has a Core i9 9900K and an RTX 2080 Ti. This is totally overkill for a streaming PC. In fact, you don't need a separate PC for streaming, unless, of course, you want to stream at the very highest quality and you have a huge audience, but for most people, one PC is fine. Now that we've taken a look at his gaming PC, let's take a look at his peripherals. For his monitor, he has an Acer Predator XB 271 hu so it's a 27-inch monitor with a 1 millisecond response rate that's 165 hertz display rate, so it's a high refresh monitor. You want a high refresh monitor, especially when you have a gaming PC as good as Mr. Savage's, because you want to be able to output the highest number of frames per second possible, because a higher frames per second is going to make Fortnite feel more smooth and improve your aim and just improve your overall gaming experience in general. For his mouse, he has the Rockat Cone Pua Owl Eye. This is a very unusual choice for a mouse, and I analyzed the mouse of over 200 Fortnite Pro players, and less than 1% of them use this mouse. Funnily enough, this is the same mouse that I used to use when I was playing League of Legends several years ago, except mine was red, so it's better, obviously. For his mouse pad, he has the Rocket Taito XXL. It's a huge mouse pad, so he won't run out of space when he's aiming especially as he's a wrist aimer with his sensitivity so high, so he may not need as much space as someone that uses a low sensitivity. His keyboard is the Rockat Vulcan 1 to 1 AMO, a mechanical keyboard, and it's RGB and it looks really cool. The headset is the Victrix Pro AF. It's purple, uh, it's a purple gaming headset that looks really awesome, although not many people use it, and I'm not particularly familiar with it. But again, you can check all of these st things out on Amazon in the description, with the link in the description. Now, let's move on to Mr. Savage's video settings. He has his window mode to full screen. He uses a 1920 by 1080 resolution, so it's native, an unlimited frame limit. And then he has his view distance set to epic, and then everything else set to off or low. Of course, he could set them all to epic because he has such a powerful PC, but Mr. Savage is more concerned with the performance and getting high frames per second than he is for the visuals. Moreover, when you disable these sort of visual things, you'll be able to see things more clearly in Fortnite. Also, he has VSync off. VSync is vertical sync and is used for screen tearing on older monitors, but it can cause input lag, so most people will want to turn it off. Motion blur is off, of course, because it can just cause sickness, and I have no idea why you'd want it on ever. Show FPS is on, so we can see when his FPS dips at any point, and he has allow multi-threaded rendering on, because this can help CPUs with many cores, like Mr. Savage has with his i9-9900K. The final thing I want to mention is the colorblind mode, which is Deutronope 5. This can help you see through the storm more. And again, it makes sense to Mr. Savage to have this since he's a competitive player and wants the most advantage he can get. His HUD scale is 0.95. I actually think this is quite high and it can take up a lot of real estate on your screen. I would recommend setting this lower so you can have more space to see enemies on your screen as opposed to having it filled up with useless clutter. And his brightness is set to 1.00. I find the default brightness in Fortnite a little bit too low so you will want to change that up. However, the brightness is awfully based on your monitor a lot, so you'll just have to find what's right for you. Okay, that just about wraps up everything there is to know about Mr. Savage's Fortnite settings. As a quick summary, he uses very strange keybinds and uses his index finger for every building piece and editing and even some weapon switches. Also, he uses a very high sensitivity but it's not so high that you won't be able to control your aim. 
However, it's certainly at the upper limit of where you want your Fortnite sensitivity to be. Do you want to see more of Mr. Savage? Then you can check him out on Twitch where he streams regularly, or you can check out his 200 IQ plays on YouTube, or you can connect with him on Twitter. Of course, the links will be in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe so you can be the first to know when I release more videos. Thank you for watching. Peace.